EDSA people power is not a fake news. This is what former Social Welfare Secretary Judy Tagiwalo had to say to people who are demeaning the value of the event. She also criticized President Rodrigo Duterte. They buried Marcos sa libingan ng mga bayani. How can you commemorate the ouster of a dictator if you consider him a hero? Tagiwala also lambasts Communication Assistant Secretary Moka Uson for reposting on her Facebook a photo of nuns on their knees in front of soldiers at the 1986 People Power, saying it was mere propaganda. Sabi ko, I was in Camp Krami at that time as a political prisoner. I know, no, that people came out and put their lives on at stake para lang mawakasan na, na ano, ang diktadura. Nasabihin na drama lang yon ay pagmamaliit sa sakripisyo ng napakaraming tao, ng napakaraming kababaihan. Pagpapakita din yon na wala siyang pagpapahalaga sa kasaysayan. Ang kasaysayan ng Pilipinas ay hindi kasaysayan ng drama. A martial law survivor, Tagiwala joined protesters in Mindiola, Manila to pay tribute to the activists who were arrested, tortured and murdered during the late strongman's regime. Hindi o fake news ito mga namatay sa panahon ng diktadurang Marcos. Ang iba namatay na lamang sa sobrang sakit dahil sa torture. Ang iba ho ay hindi na nakita ang mga katawan. Protesters attached roses to a barbed wire barricade, a symbolic recollection of the abuse activists experienced. Another martial rule survivor, former Bayan Muna representative Saturo Campo, recounts the torture he went through in the hands of the military. Pinalisan ako ng damit, binusan ng tubig, at pinalian ng wire yung aking thumb, nagdumadali yung elektrisidad. Mula rito sa forehead, pababayan, ganun. Diyan, hanggang sa sex organs. May kakarate, may susuntok sa akin, may sasampal. Both Tagiwalo and Ocampo oppose the government's plan to amend the Constitution. Tagiwalo says this move could result to further social abuses. Tagiwalo and Ocampo say the people power spirit should live on. They said Filipinos should be reminded of the sacrifices their older generations endured to reclaim freedom. Makoy Popyoko, CNN, Philippines.